Nepal is famous for its high Himalayas. But in the busy and dusty capital, Kathmandu, a high-end research lab is flourishing. Narayan Adhikari is on his way to Tripuran University. After a decade working abroad, he came home to take the theoretical physics department to a new level. So now we are at Central Department of Physics, Tripuran University. This is the department where I work and I am one of the I am one of the professors out of 14 professors who are working at this department. There is very little government funding for basic science in Nepal, so Narayan has had to seek support elsewhere. One of the main funders is ICTP, the International Center for Theoretical Physics, based in Italy and supporting science in developing countries. So welcome to my office. This is the place where I work and I spend most of my time. I just have one laptop, one desktop, and it is quite different than what I had when I was working in developed countries like Italy. Narayan believes that training young people is the best way to help his nation develop. He teaches a large MSc class and supervises several PhD students. Together, they've produced a stream of high-level papers on the properties of materials, such as atom-thick graphene. Their achievements are remarkable, considering the many challenges they faced, including frequent power cuts. So 16 hours per day, there will be no electricity in this building from Nepal Electricity Authority. To solve that problem, uh, we have solar power system, and from that one, right now we get 2.3 kilowatt power supply uninterrupted or 24 hours. Making use of this power is an ultra-fast computer funded by ICTP this year. It might not look like much, but it enables staff to carry out some of the complex calculations that are a staple of theoretical research. Internet access, however, is still a problem. Uh, for example, we have internet from this university in this building, but uh, it does not work most of the time. So most of the time, if we need to work at, uh, with internet, we have to be at home. Now, today's day is over. Thank you. Well, not quite over. Narayan also hosts evening discussions with his students at his home which is just a short bike ride from the university campus. Okay, now here we are in my study room at home. We generally discuss some physics in this room also with my PhD students or MSc thesis students in this room. And after some time, we'll have dinner here also. Narayan hopes that more young students will study physics in Nepal producing quality work that can be published in prestigious international journals and eventually helping the country to develop. That's what he is working towards, day by day.